All right, update on uh, Jasmine coin. So actually, last night I bought some Jasmine coin. I think it was at seven point six cents or so. So basically, where we are now. Um, I did buy some for myself. Actually, I've been buying it for other people as well. Um, but I uh, bought some for myself personally around seven point six, seven point seven. I do think this is probably the bump. Here's the thing, though: if Bitcoin can't hold forty two k, which we're currently below right now. Then obviously this is going to go lower. Um, six five would be the next stop if you don't hold seven cents. So seven cents, six five would be the next stop. Um, I did. Th I really didn't think you'd lose forty two k. So who knows? Um, like I said, if you don't hold forty k on Bitcoin on the weekly time frame, if you close a weekly candle forty k or lower, I think bull runs over. So your life support right now for Bitcoin. Um, that is just how I see the charts, though. All right, so the upside, uh, if Jasmine were to start moving up and if Bitcoin were to start moving up, would be the 236 FIB up here at 11.5. Um, that is still the same because as of right now, Jasmine has not made a new lower low below 6.3. If that happens, then obviously the 236 would come lower. But I also think if you go below 6.5 again, um, actually, if you go below, I'll say this local low. If you go below 6.3 again, then I do think it's probably over. And Jasmine is going down to four cents. Um, my next fib below six three would be one one. I don't think it definitely doesn't come down there that far that quick. I think it would come down to this local low right here, uh, or when it first came on uh, to Coinbase right there at four seven. If it doesn't hold that, you could come down to this wick low here at three nine seven two. Um, so basically four cents or just three nine. Um, and then if you don't hold three nine. I do see you coming down to 1.1. One, one. I think at, by that point, if you're below this level, you're in a bear market overall for crypto. I don't see you losing 3.9 and still being in a bull market. Um, so I don't think 3.9 gets hit unless Bitcoin loses 40k. If that happens, then like I said, and we can't if we close 40, if we close below 40k on a weekly candle on Bitcoin, I think bull runs over. And if that were to happen, then I do think uh, you'd probably lose 3.9 even. Um, so those are my worst case scenarios. Um, right now, you're on the brink of disaster right now for Bitcoin. So you're only at uh, $1,600 away from that 40k level, which you really have to hold on the weekly time frame. Uh, and just remember, the weekly candle doesn't close until next Sunday at 7 p.m. Central Time, my time. Um, so um, that's still what is today. Yeah, that happens in two days. So two and a half days. So just be aware of it. Um, you should be watching Bitcoin when you're buying altcoins right now because if Bitcoin keeps going down, altcoins are probably going to keep bleeding out. Uh, but if this is the bottom for Bitcoin, we'll see. It doesn't look like it wants to be. But if it is the bottom for Bitcoin, then I do think this thing starts moving up here and we eventually see the 236 fib get hit and much higher targets get hit. Um, I do think 50 cents can still happen this year. We still have 11 and a half months to go. But um, also remember, look at the chart. You're making lower highs. So until we start making a higher high above uh, eleven eight, technically you're still a major, major downtrend for weeks and weeks and weeks ever since it was at 34 cents. So just be aware of that uh, right now the chart doesn't look very bullish, but we will see what happens. I do think, though, this is the bottom down here at 6.3. Uh, this was a bottom here at 6.3 if Bitcoin can hold 40K. That's all I got with you guys in the next one.